old LeMay. How did we come to this? The, the wide range of potential for comedies to go all out and be the goofiest, craziest, most off-the-wall, energetic fun times that anybody could have in a theater, hint, hint, and we're resorting to a Zoolander sequel? I'm speechless. Both of these movies are the most lazy, pathetic, conventional piles of dung that anybody could put out. And I'm glad that this one bombed last week, so that I don't have to put up with any more of these. <sighs> I'm CM Waters, and you're watching my review of Zoolander 2. Zoolander was 2001 semi-successful comedy satire of the modeling business, featuring some slick production designs and easily the most fleshed-out character performance from oftentimes one-note comedy star Ben Stiller, who also, as I recently found out, wrote and directed the movie. The only problem? When I was in seventh grade, I became bulimic. You can read minds. It's not funny. In my opinion, the best comedies out there, regardless of their production values, are the ones that go all out and are just off the wall, 100% over the top goofy. Zoolander takes the opposite route, holding some great production values, but throwing a lot of standard <laughs> this guy is so dumb jokes at us in the most conventional, nonchalant way possible, no less. For me, it was a forgettable comedy that literally left no effect on me. So I guess it's kind of in this sequel's favor that, in contrast, it left a big effect on me. The effect of anger. In the beginning, it's revealed that the Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good has collapsed and killed Zoolander's wife, as well as nearly killing his kid. So he gets his kid taken away, and his so-called fire dies out. As a result, he retires from modeling and decides to run away to the mountains. However, years later, he gets called back for a gig in Rome and sees his big opportunity to re-establish himself, hopefully enough to get his kid back. Ironically, his buddy Hansel, played by Owen Wilson, gets on the gig as well, until they both find out that someone is murdering famous celebrities who have all given the blue steel look as their last look, and a Roman agency believes this could be a clue to a bigger plot of massive destruction. A lot of the problems that I stated with the first movie are present here. Nonchalant jokes about famous, good-looking people being so stupid. But there are even bigger problems that take it further down Crap Creek. Mainly that the plot is a mess. The script keeps jumping from twist to twist, and once it finally gets to the big climax, it still feels incredibly lazy. On top of that, there's a few plot threads that could have been cut out. To give the first film a little bit of credit, its plot was at least simple and easy to follow. In this one, you have Zoolander trying to reconnect with his kid, Hansel trying to choose between two different orgies as if they were one-on-one -on -one relationships, all this conspiracy crap. I mean, is all this really necessary? On top of that, though, Zoolander is completely unrelatable in this. There's a scene where he meets his kid for the first time, and he dismisses him because he's fat. Our hero, ladies and gentlemen! There's also a few scenes where he tries to regress fans back to what I guess are considered the highlights of the first movie, but they're only recognizable on the surface level and don't really capture the same ideas behind those highlights, a problem that occurs with sequels trying to retread. Folks, if the mere title Zoolander 2 doesn't sound like a waste of time to you, at least believe me when I say it's more than a waste of time, it's a waste of energy. It bores you to the point where you become vulnerable to the insults to decency that it tosses your way as well. None of the jokes work, none of the characters are likable, the plot is a mess, and it doesn't even work as a nostalgic revival. Skip it. So this week, folks, I want to know what you think the most boring comedy you've ever seen is. Write yours in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to rate it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe, as I'll have another review up next week.